Our next patient is a 60-year-old gentleman who is a chronic smoker and has underlying diabetes with ischemic heart disease and a PCI performed in 2014, presented to us with abdominal distension and weight loss, and on examination actually showed a central abdominal mass um, and bloods reviewed a microcytic hypochromic anemia with the hemoglobin down to 8.5. An OGD was performed showing no mucosal lesion, but rather a distorted anatomy of the stomach and suspected extrinsic compression. Hence, a contrast CT abdomen was performed and it showed a huge heterogeneously enhancing mass up to 20 cent 27 centimeters in the abdomen uh, with solid and cystic components. So our top differential diagnosis uh, included that of a GIST, a gastrointestinal stromal tumor. And so today we'll, uh, and uh, these are the photos from the uh, CT uh, films. And today we'll be performing a uh, EUS uh, with or without the use of contrast and also a fine needle biopsy. Yeah, um, I'm Shopo Wang from Taiwan. Uh, my partner, partner commander is from USA. Uh, Kashyap, Kashyap, Professor Kashyap. Kashyap. Uh, the case uh, you have heard, 60 years old male, suffer from epicardial pain, pain, and the uh, abdominal huge mass was noted on CT scan. Uh, I look at the CT scan previous. I think it's also possibility of uh, from pancreas because uh, spinal vein was compressed severely. Uh, however, uh, we have to look for is from stomach or not. Or pancreas. Uh, now I show the US picture. You can see uh, there are several different compartments. Here is a CT region. I think you can see a lot of uh, floating echogenic fluid. Uh, in echo ultrasound, this maybe means uh, blood. And uh, another part is uh, solid part with uh, some uh, necrotic area. And the uh, another part is solid. However, uh, maybe there are some is a viable tissue, some is necrotic tissue. And uh, the problem is uh, uh, what is the origin? So we had to uh, check the uh, laying uh, of the adrenal wall. Although our endoscope see there are nothing in the uh, uh, stomach, so I magnify this. Uh, picture you can see here this uh, muscle layer continue to the tumor so I think is uh, original from uh, tumor and uh, is a exophy tumor It's very uh, common occurred commonly occur in uh, uh, gist a uh, gist so uh, today uh, what I do is uh, get the tissue because uh, 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 some oncologists, uh, they want to have a uh, neo evidence therapy with Karabic to make the tumor smaller, and uh, maybe it's easy to operate. Uh, okay, this my interpretation. Is any common? Right yeah, there. yeah. No, if no question, we will start to uh, uh, get the tissue. Today I use a uh, Poco 20 gauge to get the larger uh, tissue tissue fragment and uh, I will not use uh, I will not use the uh, uh, suction because it's bloody yeah the needle now the sheath is uh, now is out I will uh, put the uh, good position for the needle to puncture Okay. Now I the needle tip is here. I want to go here. This is 20 ga 20 gauge for call. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Let just wait a moment. So now I take out the a uh, stylet. So I start to prepare slowly. Oh. Sorry. 
what do you think of uh, of increasing your sampling by uh, by the fanning technique? Right? Yeah, now I'm, to do uh, now I'm here. yes, now I'm perform the fanning technique. So usually yeah. we uh, we use the large dial. Yes. For uh, for fanning. Yes. And here, since uh, this tumor is vascular and necrotic, um, so we're not using suction, and uh, probably ten, ten, uh, 10 to 15 yeah. uh, back and forth movements uh, without any excessive uh, yeah. uh, or aggressive uh, FNA technique mm -hmm. because of the tendency to, uh, for these tumors to bleed. Yes. So here we don't have uh, rapid on-site pathology yeah, so uh, evaluation. So we're, we're just going to drop the sample in formalin and uh, and send it for for evaluation okay thank you very much beautiful demonstration yeah. we'll go to the other room to see the esd first thank you okay we have to move on uh, thank you raymond